Excuse me, Mrs. Bornack. Yes. I'm Dr. Stephen Deutsch. I just wanted to let you know that Mr. Zbornak's out of surgery and he's doing fine. Oh, thank God. He's in recovery now and he should be out of intensive care within 48 hours. Oh, <laughs> I uh, understand he'll be spending his recovery period with you? That's right, doctor. What? Patience, Madam President. Blanche, why did you say that? You didn't really sleep with Elvis Presley. Dorothy, back where I come from, there were a lot of hillbilly boys with mutton chop sideburns named Elvis. <laughs> The light was bad in the bayou. It could have happened. Blanche, you never slept with Elvis Presley. Cheating on Dorothy left, right, and sideways. Oh, yeah. I love you. Sophia, listen. I know I always haven't been the best son-in-law, but I've got other memories, good memories. The four of us watching TV on that ugly green sofa sailboard from his boss. Summer weekends on the Jersey Shore. It hasn't been all bad. Dorothy, what's the matter? Something wrong? The thrill of victory! The agony. Pardon? <gasps> you stop that! You know something? I am having a real problem with your attitude. Oh, really? Well, you can all just kiss my attitude. <laughs> You wouldn't let me get the melon ball, so I improvised. I'm not thrilled about my son marrying your daughter, either. Oh, yeah? Why? You got something against black people? Of course not. And I resent the insinuation. Why, we firmly believe that all men are created equal. That's a bunch of baloney. Right. <laughs> well, it is if you don't believe me. Just turn on your... T <laughs> this cheesecake is delicious. Mm. It's not bad for store bought. Mm. I'd love to have another cup of coffee. I will put on another pot. Oh, good. Mm. What's all the racket? Mm. Oh, Martha and the Vandellas are back. <laughs> uh, it's all right, Dorothy. I've got one home. And where's the cake? Rose, did you take it out? I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, Ma, what'd you do with the cake? I didn't do anything. I haven't seen it yet either. What do you mean you haven't seen it? You were supposed to bake it. <laughs> I was? Oh, my. You forgot. I didn't forget. I wanted to make sure it was fresh. I'll bake it now. Oh, honey. <laughs> I've put away a little money, Dorothy. It's, it's not nearly enough, but you're welcome to it. Oh, Rose. Well, I could lend you a couple of hundred. I'd planned on putting it toward my cruise to the Bahamas, but what the heck. Oh, thank you, girl. I'll just buy a couple of Harry Belafonte tapes. I really appreciate it. You know, you really have to give Max and Sophia credit. This business was their dream, and they're going after it. I just wish I'd done that with my dream. Fine. Honey, would you check on the pizzas? One may be ready. Well, why don't you want to hear about my dream? Because it is all... Where are you going? Back to the studio. There's only one thing left to do. Oh. Who was that nut? I don't know. Mr. Terrific usually comes in alone. <laughs> So you see, it's very important that... Get mad in your suitcase? Right. Picture it. New York City, 1956. I was a young widow returning to Sicily. There I was, on the boat, alone, watching Lady Liberty grow smaller in the distance, when suddenly I heard a voice from the vicinity of my knees. <laughs> Rose, honey, can I borrow your golf gloves? I already packed mine. Only if you promise not to move out. I cannot promise that. Then putt with bare hands. <laughs> That's two weeks you ought to see a doctor. Blanche is right, you should see a doctor. It's just indigestion. Man, I'm a little tired from working hard. Oh, come on, Rose, you're playing with your health here. You're crazy. Oh, I'm crazy, am I? You think I'm crazy, do you? Well, I'll tell you something else. In St. Olaf, we don't believe in psych... Get it. Her mind is made up. If she said it once, she has said it a hundred times. I'm staying. Good night. <laughs> Come back. What do you mean you're staying? What's the problem? You already rented my room? <laughs> what changed your mind? I just got off the phone with Phil. <laughs> 
Jones, in my opinion, it is time to say bye-bye to Mr. Longfellow and Elvis. I mean, what's the use of having a garage sale if we can't part with anything? How much for this hockey stick? $1,100. <laughs> For an Alka Seltzer. <laughs> Girls, I have great news. I found a final resting place for Mrs. Claxton. Rose, you found one of her relatives? No, no, I spread her ashes around the old oak tree in front of her house. Well, what on earth for? Well, to prove that her life had some meaning. As fertilized? Guilty. Oh, Dorothy, good God, you were cleaning out the garage and you asked Sophia to move a sofa? <laughs> Don't start with me. I mean, she is 84 years old, and you're asking her to do the work of two men? It was Wicker, all right. <laughs> and the lazy boy? Blanche Lee. <laughs> Dorothy? Miles. Oh. Look, Dorothy, about the kiss. What kiss? I didn't see a kiss. Was there a kiss? <laughs> no. And neither of us must speak of it, because it never really happened. At least it wouldn't have if you hadn't started up with me. Me? I didn't know such thing. Up the street. You know, Sam and Edna's daughter. That's a girl? Woof! <laughs> Dorothy, what are you doing up? Her banging woke me. What are you talking the about? The toilet seat, Ma. Four women live in this house. The toilet seat never has to move. You always manage to make it bang. <laughs> Joy. I um, just remembered I have an important call to make. Uh, you know the novelty business. <laughs> the pay phone's at the end of the trailer court, Stanley. The biggest pumpkin of the season. <laughs> I don't know who I'm mad at. My father for thinking he had to pay a dowry, or you for letting this go on all these years for a lousy $47. Nobody stiffs the Petrillos. Fine. You think your family was wronged? Let me make it right. Why did you ask me that? No reason, just wanted to get your honest opinion. <laughs> Here are the answers to that questionnaire. Aha. Uh -huh. If Dorothy finds out I hired a matchmaker for her, she'll kill me. Oh, I understand. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to change the answer on number 10. I think a prison record does... <laughs> Oh, two more mimes pretending to kill yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun. Um. <laughs> they weren't mimes, were they? It was for 20 minutes. I can't be late. The last time I was late, Ronald gave me the broken hairdryer. I came out looking like Don King. Ma, <laughs> oh, please. All my life, I've wanted to see Frank Sinatra in concert. I'm not getting off this phone until I get tickets. What are you talking about? I took you and Gloria to see him at the Paramount Theater. I'll never forget it. Miami has so much appeal. A great place to get a seafood meal. Miami. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. I don't think I'm going to paint for the museum anymore. Whatever you want. It's making me a nervous wreck. I used to love painting. Now it's getting to be an obsession. And obsessions can be dangerous. Well, that's just because you're prone to them. Some people aren't. Where the hell is the racing form? Gee, I don't know why you need it. I don't. So am I. I can't believe you lied to me. Well, now, don't be too hard on her, Rose. Although she may have been doing it for the wrong reason, at least the decision was right, because baby is better off here. <laughs> well, why are y'all looking at me like I'm a murderer? I tell you, this pig is dying because he's old and sick. Now, I refuse to... That's very touching, Rose. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but it is. You know, when I think of my father, I don't remember just one incident. I just know that he was always there to take care of me whenever I got into trouble, which was all the time. I just never dreamed that piano and he'd play Christmas carols and the children would sing along and then mother'd bring in some homemade eggnog and snickerdoodles. <laughs> and then we'd decorate the tree. And after daddy had hung the star at the very top of the tree, we'd all join hands and pray. Oh, no. 
Oh, they've come to tow away our Mercedes. Oh, now I am really depressed. I never even got a chance to ride in it. Boy, what a great idea. Isn't it luxurious? And the engine's so quiet. <laughs> about our policy in Guatemala. <laughs> about death, Rose. Oh, death. Are you prepared, either of you, I mean, really prepared? Dorothy, I may be a lot of things, but naive is not one of them. Face it, your friend Jean is seeing a married man. Blanche, that is absolutely uncanny. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday. We um, really pulled it out of the fire, didn't we, babe? We sure did. <laughs> it felt nice, you and me, working together as a team again. It did feel nice. Reminds me when we were first married. Mm. We sure had some good times. So... Popeye. Hiya, Jay. What can I do for you? We like the best table in the house. You got it, buddy. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Thanks. And we'll have the usual. All right. Are you sure this is the best table in the house? Did you get a splinter when you sat down? No. And this is Hidden Honeymoon Hideaway in the Poconos. Or every cottage is April in Paris. Yeah. And every bathroom, Calcutta in July. <laughs> Do you remember how I convinced you to let me back into bed? No. I've got a crush on you. Reveal her identity under any circumstances. Independent sources have already identified the woman as Blanche Devereaux. Oh, please. What sources? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blanche. I don't believe this. He just never know true love. May you be sterile and may all your offspring be sterile. <laughs> may your hair never lie flat. And may your socks always slip down inside your shoes. And this is the same Giuseppe Mangiacavallo who is the grandfather of the groom? Now, you see why I want... One way out, Blanche, and I don't think you can hold your breath long enough. You're just making a mountain out of a molehill. Five years of molehills. They add up. Well, I didn't know Doug meant this much to you. I'm not talking about Doug. This is about you. She asked me for another chance. I gave it to her. I trusted her. That crack about the nautical toilet. <laughs> you lost your head. I'm having a vision. Pizza with pizzazz, even better. <laughs> hey, I can act and write. <laughs> Gee, I love this business. <laughs> Listen, you don't mind if I make the change, do you, Sai? No, no, not at all. In fact, I, I think I want to make a change, too. <laughs> and in here. Dorothy, I'll tell you a very oh. simple way to beat the heat. Just imagine yourself in a cool place. Like a snowy, windy mountaintop in Colorado. <laughs> With a ski instructor named Fritz. <laughs> and a bearskin rug and a bottle of brandy. Don't let this argument with, with Virginia stand in your way. Blanche, you're never going to feel complete until you get to say goodbye. You don't understand, Dorothy. If I go to that funeral, he's dead. Blanche, he is... Look here, this is when I was crowned Azalea Queen. Wasn't I beautiful then? Oh, yeah. And you still haven't lost. Finally arrives. I bend down to kiss his ring. Just then, security comes and whisks him away. He leaves the ring behind as a memento. <laughs> Ma, you stole the Pope's ring? <laughs> it slipped off. You know, for God's representative on Earth, he sure has sweaty palms. <laughs> for you to be happy, Daddy. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Oh, I hope you two will just be so happy together. I am going to throw you and the widow Spencer the best wedding you ever saw. No, we don't want any fuss. We're planning on getting married in the Bahamas. No, I will.
will not hear of it. The Hollingsworth has to get married in style. Oh, I don't want to impose. No, we'd love to have the wedding here. <laughs> Bobby, does your mama know you carry that gun? Blanche, I'm a grown man. I don't have to have her permission. Although, to be honest, she's not thrilled about it. That's because she loves you. I know I'd be a nervous wreck if Matthew were a police officer. I worry about him enough as it is, and he's a CPA. Rose! Don't talk to me. Don't try to cheer me up. Just leave me alone. I am angry, and I'm going to stay angry. <laughs> <laughs> It. Dorothy, it just doesn't make sense. Why was Chuck? I will never forget when I first put up that notice at the supermarket. Oh. 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 Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Oh, I know exactly what you're going through. I can read it in your face. You can. Sting the taxpayer's money. Yank out that tree and start pouring cement. Mrs. Claxton, think about what you're doing. That beautiful old tree is 200 years old. How can you hate a living thing? I hate you. <laughs> That's it. I have had all I'm going to take from nightmares and great sex. <laughs> really? I wouldn't know. Oh, Dorothy, come on. Hey, shouldn't we get going, girls? When you're making love, you don't make noise? No. How can you not? Well, I guess I always felt it wasn't very ladylike. <laughs> we should go, girls. Hold your bladder, Rose. Surprise for me. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. I don't believe it. Tony Molinaro won't go out with me Friday night. Oh, Ma, I'm not surprised. His wife just died. The man is still in mourning. No, that's not the reason Made Bloomfield beat me to him. <laughs> Pleasure to my life. Uh, where would they read that will, Blanche? The Astrodome? Uh, or maybe I'd just do something like... To my sister Virginia, I hereby bequeath my diamond brooch, my collection of Wedgwood china, and all my stock in AT and T. You have stock in AT and T? I don't have any. What the hell is that for? You're not getting into this bed, Stanley. Then where am I supposed to sleep? On the floor, like any dog. Oh, fine. <laughs> Just fine. Stan Spornak doesn't have to beg a woman to get into bed. Women come to me. Yeah. Right after they get the approval number on your MasterCard. Taking this old inner tube, wrapping it in wool, and putting it next to Thor's bed at night. We named it Brunhilde. <laughs> and believe it or not, it did the trick. Thor felt like he was back with his mother, and he began eating and sleeping and frolicking. frolicking. Yes. <laughs> but then one day, Thor got a little playful, and... Thank you, Rose. You're more than welcome, Blanche. You can always count on me to hand you the toffee. I know. That's why I always ask you. You know, I think I saw Jack and Janet give Chrissy this treatment on an episode of Three's Company. Oh, at last a reference from Dorothy that even we illiterates can understand. I guess her will of knowledge. My heart, run into the kitchen and get help. Who am I, lassie? Next you'll load me into a burning barn. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Stanley, my favorite ex-son-in-law. How was the trip to the attorney? We've got to talk. What's wrong with Dorothy? She's faking a heart attack. You, dear. Oh, Tony. Oh, Angela. Oh, boy, who is that woman? <laughs> oh, 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 this woman. Oh, she's my cleaning lady. What? You... <laughs> New act, Sophia and Sophia. Get a load of this. Uh, hi, Sophia. Oh, hello, Sophia. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Oh, I got a little arthritis in my neck. <laughs> I was wondering why my wrist was hurting. Oh, get my feet wet. Oh, uh, Ken, they won't be like uh, a dozen tiny dogs hopping on hind legs wearing funny hats. Oh, I wish. <laughs> So upset about it, I can't sleep. Well, then why don't you give him a call? Oh, honey, I can't do that. He just tried to persuade me to see him again. That's out of the question. 
I don't understand what's wrong with Jake. I think he's wonderful. And you're miserable without him. Well, that may be, but in some ways, in some very important ways, we're just... <laughs> you're not a mechanical person, Dorothy. You never were. For the first three months of your life, you try to breastfeed off my cameo. <laughs> Rose, come on. Do you really think we could do it? Well, it might take a little time, but we'd sure save a lot of money. Then let's go! <laughs> Rebecca, I've held my tongue for two solid weeks, but I cannot any longer. Now, I am your mother, and I cannot let you go out that door without asking you why. Of all the men on God's green earth, have you decided to marry that lump of nothing out there? Orange juice, Ma. Yeah, I could use some of that. I think I might be coming down with a cold. Well, it doesn't come as a surprise. I mean, you've spent every afternoon this week standing stark naked in a cold, windy studio. Oh, I didn't catch cold at Laszlo's studio, Dorothy. Laszlo keeps me too warm for that. Too warm and too tingly. And so familiar. <laughs> This is mine. I thought the cleaner lost it. I told you the cleaner lost it. I took it. I needed something to go with my black sweater. This is my black sweater. I know. It goes great with my pearls. You know Sam down the block, the one who thinks he's hiding his stomach by wearing Hawaiian shirts? Yeah, Sam is fine. His brother went for a checkup seven years ago. The doctor said he was great. Three days after the exam, he was dead. Ma, he owed money to a guy named Face and got thrown off a pier. Sticks and stones can break your bones, but cement pays homage to tradition. <laughs> All right, Dorothy, I think it would be a good idea if we rehearsed how you're going to break up with Stan tonight. Okay, I'll be Stan. I didn't know you were dead. Tomorrow, I am going to a scalper, and I'm going to buy four tickets. You better make that three. My final exam is that night. Oh, honey, it's too bad. Oh, well, what difference does it make? My social life's gone down the drain anyway. All I ever do is study. You know, it cannot be good for you. It's unnatural. It's unhealthy. It's unlike about this. I told you he was younger. Yes, but you sure didn't tell me he was white. <laughs> No daughter of mine is marrying some skinny white boy. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. No, honey, she won't budge. Oh, Rose, I don't think we're going to be able to move it. Dorothy, if the Egyptians built the pyramids, now we can move this toilet. Fine, get me 20,000 Hebrews and I'll have it out of here. movies you know i always wanted mink i thought it would make me look elegant and impressive we didn't have mink in sicily you wanted to impress someone you shot their brother <laughs> oh blanche you must be feeling better 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 <laughs> going it's my day to volunteer at the hospital oh sophia you know it's really sweet of you to volunteer i like charity work besides i got my eye on an eligible doctor for dorothy I hope he likes charitable work, too. <laughs> Listen, Dorothy, I'm going to an art show tomorrow night. I always... Sandwich afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess sex and food are a big part of our lives. In fact, just recently, last summer or last spring, it's so hard to remember which. Why does it have to be so hard? The hardest part for me was explaining to my love for my entire life may not even be my mother. But honey, that's exactly the point. What's the difference if she did or didn't give birth to you? You two really know each other and you really love each other a lot more than most mamas and their children ever do. Nothing that has happened. Or... In the city hall and make it legal. Stand. Dorothy, it's fate, divine intervention, the hurricane, us pretending we're married. If God didn't want us to be together again, he would never have sent us a priest. I'm not a priest. Angelo, get back here. What do you mean you're not a priest? I cannot go on with this deception. Jeremy. Well, nice to meet you, Janet. It's a pleasure to meet you, Won't too. Won't you come in, sit down? Thank you. 
Oh, you have a lovely home here. Thank you. You seem like a very nice young man. Oh, he is a very nice young man. <laughs> Becky, was she talking to you? I'm sorry. Oh, d'oeuvres are now being served. Oh, Jeremy, I want you to meet my mother's friends. This is Dorothy, How Sophie. How do you about that? Every last cent is gone. No mas dinero. Dorothy. Oh, but I'm your sister, and I'm here for you. I guess I've just been feeling sorry for myself, thinking, huh, I'm all alone, no one loves me. Poor Rose has got to find some new role models. I'm going to call a couple of ticket brokers. Fine, Big Shot. Handle it. See how far you get. I just remembered I know somebody in show business who can help us. My best friend in St. Olaf has a nephew who's a page at NBC in Hollywood. <laughs> I'll write to her and ask her to write to him. Honey, won't that... It's 39 cents each. I bought four gross. <laughs> Anybody in the mood to remove some plaque? <laughs> oh, Ma, you have almost 600 toothbrushes here. People don't use that many in a lifetime, and at your age... Please, I'm way ahead of you. I bought half pink, half blue, so after I'm gone, you... He was a man who brought joy into the lives of all he touched. <laughs> <laughs> I have the feeling he touched every behind him. Fidel Santiago lived life. Excuse he... me, Father. Uh, hold that thought. <laughs> I sat there at two in the morning listening to Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. <laughs> and then after an eternity, he comes back on the line eating chips. And he says, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I'm the only one here. My phone's been ringing off the hook. I said, officer, what about my husband? And then he's... Relationship that has very special problems and... Uh... Only you and Jonathan can decide whether those problems are worth working out. I can appreciate what you're going through, Rose. I once went through a very similar situation myself. You once dated a little person? Oh, no, 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 no. No, what I was referring to. <laughs> Does this mean you'll go to the masquerade ball? Yes, and I'll tell you something. After all the practice I have had lately, I'd be honored to be the horses behind. <laughs> Hello, Rose. Is Dorothy here? Oh, no. She went with Sophia to get shoes. She had taken Sophia for shoes. I know, but Dorothy decided to go when Sophia and Blanche started talking about whether or not Sophia should put on underwear. <laughs> get out of here. He's also heavy into real estate. Now, it's nothing much, really. I just own a few mini malls. Oh, your wife must be very proud of you. Actually, we're divorced. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> I have a surprise for Dorothy. What? Now that you're off the blood pressure medicine, it's working again? <laughs> My God, Sophia. Is there anything Dorothy didn't tell you about us? Actually, yes. I didn't know she was pregnant until four days after the wedding. <laughs> At this bathroom. I am not sharing a bathroom with three strange men. I don't care if it is my vacation. <laughs> You got no choice, lady. There just aren't enough Johns. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, yeah? You think we're happy having to gargle next to Grandma Moses and the Mosettes? <laughs> Calm down. I just ran into Harry Weston. They're all leaving town, and they needed someone to watch Dreyfus. Huh? I volunteered. Yeah, well, unvolunteer. Why, you think I can't do it? You think I'm irresponsible? Yes, Ma. You think I'm forgetful? Yes, Ma. You think I'm irresponsible? You already said that. <laughs> That's emphasis. You never heard the I have a dream speech? I don't know. What difference does it make? Oh, big difference. The Mortimer Club is restricted. Barbara, why are you a member of a club like that? <laughs> because they serve a great breakfast and the parking is free. Besides, it's their policy, not mine. Yeah, but you tolerate it. Dorothy, I tolerate a lot of things. <laughs> but secretly, I was hoping for Alabama. 
Going to Notre Dame would put such a wrench in our relationship with all those priests skulking about the campus. <laughs> anyway, one night he told me he'd finally made his decision that he was going to enroll at the little junior college just five miles. Only problem is, this year I don't think I'm going to make it. What's the matter? Aren't you feeling well? I ran away from the home to make the trip, and I think they're just about to catch up with me. Are you Anna Egerman? Rough labor? Rough conception. <laughs> oh, she doesn't need those classes. I think women ought to have babies the way God intended, strapped to a table numb from the neck down. And set sail for America. 500 people filled with hope singing, laughing, drinking. Actually, only the Irish were drinking. <laughs> but I digress. Of course, on the second day, things took a turn for the worse. For the next month and a half, the storm tossed seas made our... I'm afraid I just gave those two rooms away. But we had a reservation. Until 3 a.m., you're late. Therefore, the reservation is null and void. I'm sorry, that's company policy. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm from Sicily. You know what our company policy is? First, I break your knees. Ma, ma. <laughs> Look, forget about the reservation. Just give him to stand anymore. You don't even like him. You practically begged me to go out with him to get him off your back. Now you're angry because I, I didn't have a terrible time? Why do you care? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know I'm terribly upset because I'm letting this get me terribly <laughs> upset. Oh, Blanche, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's all right. That's all right. Oh. Listen, last night I sent home for fighting over who had the cutest date for the prom. <laughs> I never got to go to the prom. You're kidding. Why? Well, I really wanted to go with Delbert Twitchell. He was the most gorgeous boy at our school. And he was captain of the Precision Combine Drill Team. <laughs> well, actually, I was so sure. I uh, know. She never could help Mama because she had heart flutters. And she never could take gym class. No, because she had a tip uterus. And she never did any housework because she had a spastic colon. Now, she has attached kidneys. <laughs> That girl is some kind of mutant. <laughs> Advantage of your vulnerability. Rose, you're a smart woman. Oh, you are vulnerable. <laughs> of course I am. I'm drawn to your beauty, your, your charm, your own unique brand of wisdom. What about Caroline? Oh, Caroline doesn't know everything. Oh, you should see the cardigan she got me for my birthday. It's Southern. <laughs> Sleeping with your brothers is Southern. <laughs> Rose does, we're running out of time. Sophia, if you hated your sister, would you clean the house? I'd put Vaseline on the tips of her walker. <laughs> if you get rid of it, the sore heals, and you feel better. Anger is like a piece of shredded wheat. <laughs> you want poetry, you listen to Neil Diamond. You want good advice, you listen to your mother. Maybe you're right. I you know what you're going through. The bottom line is, if you take a chance in life, sometimes good things happen, sometimes bad things happen. But honey, if you don't take a chance, nothing happens. I'm gonna take a chance. Oh, oh that's wonderful! Well, I have to look in my closet. I don't even know what to wear. More finesse. <laughs> Boy, she's really cranky. Yeah, and you don't want to know why. <laughs> Dorothy, I just had a great idea. Why don't you become my assistant? Oh, Rose, forget it, forget it. I don't want to get involved in sports with you. No, Rose, you're... Modified sort of southern accent. And then when we got picked up, I remember being in your office. And uh, I'd been thinking about how to play her and not play her southern. And I thought... Okay, so back in, in July, this was in March, I guess, that we did the pilot. Okay, Dorothy. If that's your real name. <laughs> How is that coffee? Terrific. Actor. <laughs> My 
have no intention of blowing this. No, Ken is perfect. I mean, aside from being one of Miami's most successful lawyers. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> the man is caring. He's sensitive. Do you know that on weekends, he actually puts on a clown's costume and entertains sick kids at the hospital? My name is Dorothy Spornak, and uh, that's spelled just the way it sounds. You die and ask us where we're from. That's my mother, the incredible shrinking woman. <laughs> She's sitting there with the two other women that I live with. You know, at our ages, the four of us... Eek, and I've lost one of my best friends. Oh, come on, Rose. You haven't lost one of your best friends. Sure I have. It's too painful to talk to Blanche. So I figure she can be my landlord, but we'll stop being friends. Oh, now, Rose, that's not what you really want. Honey, you're sacrificing something very important to you over a mistake that was made years ago. Hang-ups in two days. Miss Know-it-all, for your information, it takes three days. <laughs> so what did it do for you? I've learned a hell of a lot about what makes Stanley run. Why I'm so reluctant to make commitments, why I can't keep friends, why all my business ventures seem to fail. I finally have an answer. Sprinklers, and you found them on the lawn. <laughs> That's not bad. Oh, Rose. <laughs> well, I've never had to do this before. Tell a wife that her husband's been cheating on her with me. That's the hardest thing ever to have to tell anybody. Oh, no, it's not. How about having to tell a pre... <laughs> Will you come with me for moral support? Um, not tonight, Rose. No, no, I want to get to bed early, curl up with a good book. That's all you ever do. No, it isn't. Yes, it is, Dorothy. That's all you've done lately, and it's pathetic. What's even more pathetic is that I've been home to watch. Pizza with pizzazz, even better. <laughs> hey, I can act and write. <laughs> Gee, I love this business. <laughs> Listen, you don't mind if I make the change, do you, Sonny? No, no, not at all. In fact, I, I think I want to make a change, too. <laughs> What do you think of Cheryl Teague's nose? Oh, very nice. Kind of small. <laughs> Grandpa Nyland always said, the air is free. You might as well have a big honker and suck up as much as you can. <laughs> of course, Grandpa Nyland looked like he'd caught a boomer. Get these. I'll give you one guess. You slept with the teacher. <laughs> of course I didn't sleep with the teacher. You have to be very careful these days. I promised I would if he'd give me the answer. <laughs> I call it safe. Sorry, I can't make it tonight. I have a 24-hour buzz. Bug. <laughs> well, I'll call you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye. I should have told him I have a date with Buzz. God, I hate me right now. Understanding. Who is buying? <laughs> How about Dutch cheap? Great. I'll see you Thursday. Dorothy. Thanks. Uh. <laughs> uh, I'll bet you were surprised when Rose called you up out of thin air and invited you out. Yes, I was. I don't date very much. I mean, I try. I took a lot of good-natured ribbing before I left the boarding house this evening. Hi. I'm ready. Uh, uh, Rose, this is I. Now, I know you're upset about the new baby, but we need for you to be a big girl. Your mother's had a rough week. First I'm called away, and then the baby's delivered by a cabbie. Cesarean. <laughs> now, I know you think Phil here's taking your place knock out on us like why you used us like why you're speaking better english than sylvester stallone <laughs> happy what is this all about the violin in two days i have an audition for the juilliard school of music yeah right and i'm jimmy swagger's favorite way to pass a lonely after is it her hair will fall out her heart will stop her eyes will burn like a thousand red hot suns <laughs> Mom, why do you keep playing this game if you hate her so much? To relax. <laughs> uh, 
It's time for me to move on. My job here is done. Uh, I always love it when you talk like the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Ma, I want you to know that I support your decision. I think you'll make a great nun. Thanks. I needed to hear that. I love you, Ma. I love you too, Tonto. <laughs> if he puts you three on the stand, up the river. <laughs> Ma, what are you doing up? I can't sleep. I keep trying to think back on that night at Shady Pines. And? And we're out of toilet paper. When I hear her coming, I hide. <laughs> uh, gotta go. Morning, Ma. Good morning, pussycat. Well, man, Johnny, are you okay? Never better, Ma. I've just never seen you do anything domestic. Daddy, I've done the... He took off the goofy head. <laughs> he took off the goofy head. See? That's not so bad. When, when the time's right, see what my place... Ma, Ma, Mr. Hernandez has to go. I'm meeting the wife and kids. Up to me as her partner, and then the two of you sign up together. I did it. Dorothy's a better bowler than you are, and I want to win this year. <laughs> Rose, how could you do a thing like this? I admit it. I have a problem. I'm too competitive when it comes to athletics. Just walked in. David! David! Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have a winner! Couple number 29! That's me. I won! I won! I won! I won! Just a minute, it's not over yet. It looks like we have another... Dorothy stepped out for a breath of air. Why is she banging on the door? It looks like that button's coming off. Yep, I was right. We better go so far. Bartender, give me another. Come on. Disaster. Sweetheart, give yourself some credit. It wouldn't have been a total disaster without you. Oh. Really? Mr. No Guy with an Earring parks my car. My God. You'd think an elegant restaurant like that would bring out the best in a man. What it brought out was $250 from my wallet. Same things. Ah. Oh. Uh. I've missed you. You missed me so much you haven't called me in a week? Sophia, sit down. I picked up that phone a hundred times, but I just couldn't make that call. I haven't told anyone I love them since... since my wife. I almost finished the entire cheesecake. <laughs> oh, what the hell? It was a special occasion. <laughs> yeah, and it sure took my mind off of Psycho. Uh, listen, these can wait till morning. Let's go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Only am I not allowed to go? I'm not allowed to talk about it. This is the same deal Cinderella had with her stepsisters. <laughs> I always wanted to go to Hollywood. When I was a young girl, I used to dream about becoming a movie star. Mr. Mason, who owned the corner drugstore, said I was a, a young Barbara Billingsley. Stanley, <laughs> not a kidney. She is trying so hard to be brave. She's very convincing. Well, you have a wonderful night, Stan. We just wanted to stop by and wish you luck in case we don't see you again. <laughs> Before you leave. For the hospital. Not another world. Doc says you've got to take a little ride out to the sun deck. Great. Who wants to drive? I'll do it. It's nice not to be a passenger in one of these things for a change. <laughs> I want you to tell me the whole story all over again from the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah, from the time that you get when you were walking across the... Dorothy, what I Careful, Arthur, watch your step. <laughs> Blanche, if I only could. <laughs> oh, forgive me, sugar. Well, here, I'll watch it for you, you poor thing. 
think. That's great. I'm really proud of you. You'd think you'd miss that feeling you get with that first puff. That feeling of relaxation when you hold it in and then the sheer exhilaration as you exhale slowly. No, not really. I've I found other ways to ease my tension. Gorgeous. I'll ask him. Vincenzo, quanto costa? Costa? Oh, gratis, gratis. A me mi piace di lavorare, poi mi allontano da, dal centro, capisce? A me mi piace di stare in compagnia delle belle ragazzine, capisce? He says he'll do it for nothing. He likes getting away from the center. Having to Hold on, this. Dorothy. <laughs> this is a joke, isn't it? He didn't really pick you up, me. Oh, uh, Blanche, I didn't even want the part, but Jason said I have presents. Uh, listen, I really have to go to work. He actually so picked you over me. I do not believe this. I have been had. I know. Give me enough to endorse that slime on a shingle. <laughs> Ma, this is a nationwide commercial. There is a lot of money involved here. Sorry, Dorothy. There are two things a Sicilian won't do. Lie about pizza and file a tax return. <laughs> Forget it, Cy. Si. <laughs> Good Gil Kessler having an affair. Oh, you're kidding. With whom? Well, they don't know her name, but look. They hid in the bushes and took this picture of her from behind going into his house. I don't believe it. Wait a minute, that looks like Blanche's red dress. Mystery, but can he juggle? Salvador Petrillo, you miserable bajagaloop. If you so much as look at another ghost... See, I... there's the spunk. It's still there, but use it for yourself, not on me. You think I can be okay? If I didn't, would I have made the trip? I miss you, Sally. Hey, I'm always with you. <laughs> Good. Okay. What happened? Oh, don't worry. She'll be fine. Of course you will, honey. That phony hair color won't come out just because you got caught in the rain. <laughs> we saw love story and terms of endearment. What they want. <laughs> Sophia, did your friend die? <laughs> Rose, he hasn't come here yet. Oh, well, you certainly look black. <laughs> well, Rose, Rose, did you get me a partner for the bowling tournament? Sure did. You're all signed up. Good. It's him. Want me to get it? Throw you out on the street. <laughs> I said I was sorry. Oh, I feel just terrible. My eyes are all puffy, my nose is red, my glands are swollen. Isn't it amazing how I can feel so bad and still look so good? I can't believe it! Vinny Batak... Be able to move it. Hey, Dorothy, if the Egyptians built the pyramids, now we can move this toilet. Fine, get me 20,000 Hebrews and I'll have it out of here. Oh, come on. Give me a minute, I'll, I'll think of something. I'd love you to meet my roommates. Dorothy? Have we met? Not yet. I'm here because of your ad in the paper. Willing to do anything, $8 an hour, no job too big or small. Yes, yes, of course. Please come in. I'm sorry, I didn't expect people to actually come here. I just think... I wandered around and finally found... Speaking of found, look what I found. Butterscotch. Doesn't get much better than this. Elevator stopped on every floor and I had to hold my breath all that time. And I finally fainted and I hit my head and then I had to stay there because I had a concussion and I had to hold my breath all the way down in the elevator to the emergency room. Then I had to hold my breath in the x-ray where they ask you to hold your breath anyway. And then after... I have great news. I was mad the day my parents brought him back from the hospital. <laughs> I thought he'd take their love away from me, and uh, instead their love expanded and 
we felt more like a family. I was mad at him when I was 10 and he was four. And decide what's right for you. And whatever decision it is, I'll stand by it. Thanks, Ma. Just remember, make the wrong decision, you'll burn in hell forever. <laughs> Sleep tight, pussycat. Rose. Look, Rose, it's... It's I... He's... I... We... Oh. This is my daughter, Dorothy. She's an English teacher. And you are... Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> I'm doing the Pirates of Penzance across town. He had a tire square on. Well, I am glad somebody taught you how to do this. I just love to watch you two kiss. The last picture was a little blurry. It was hard to tell who was who. No offense, pussycat. Pussycat, huh? Nobody's called me that since then. Yes. Oh, Mr. Ninervini, my ice skating coach, said I should wear weights to strengthen my ankles. <laughs> well, I'm off to the grocery. Can I bring you anything? Is that as fast as you can go? <laughs> yes. Don't get any dairy. <laughs> Rose has taught me... It's not important. No, wait, no, I, I can do this. Rose has taught me... Let it go. I need some time with this. Uh, anyway, because of them, I feel that I'm ready to love you. A square knot. Rose taught me... At 10 o'clock. I don't know what you just did, but you'd make one hell of a yodeler. <laughs> Oh, hello. Dorothy, I'm glad you're here. There's something I want to ask. Oh, what a beautiful wedding. And Ma, nothing went wrong. A curse doesn't work in a church. Too many statues. Give it... I guess I'm just frozen back in the old days of courtship. Remember when we went to the movies last week? Hey, when you didn't say a word to me, didn't even try to kiss me goodnight. The way I remember it, you looked so beautiful, I felt awkward and tongue-tied like a teenager. I was afraid to kiss you. Afraid of a <laughs> Rose, I came over as soon as I got rid of the guys. Hey, what were you thinking, dashing off that way? I felt awful. That picture was meant for you. Hi, it was real. <laughs> Dorothy, it's Stan. Didn't you recognize me? Of course I recognized you. That's why I slammed the door on you. <laughs> Still the joke. It's not that, Ma. <laughs> It's that, Ma. <laughs> well, I'd better skedaddle. You know, my, my wife is out of town. I'm going to be up half the night trying to pick out a... Salvador, if you want to fool around, take off your T-shirt. <laughs> Linguini all over me. Ma, for Ma's sake. Now, let's see, you're going with Howard. Dr. Howard. How about Doug? Oh, Dorothy, not Doug. I couldn't possibly. He's on my A-list. I mean, come on, Dorothy. He's a judge. He's fun to be with, and I haven't paid a speeding ticket in six months. <laughs> Excuse me, we'll get back to your fascinating hospital story later. Oh, <laughs> Ted and Lucy said that we could have the baby again next month when they go away for a weekend. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, hello, everybody. Blanche, what are you doing here? Is something wrong? I mean, we didn't expect you. Hello? You want to talk to who? Dorothy. Sorry, you must have dialed the wrong number. 
Blanche, what do you mean, wrong number? Oh, it was a man, so I just assumed. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is she. So, wait a minute. You mean those guys were all in on it? I was in on it, too. Oh, come on, you were not. Oh, all right, I was not. <laughs> Damn it, I just hate to be the brunt of jokes. Funny you don't mind being the brunt of limericks. Honey, how'd it go? Not so good. I looked all day and came up with nothing. I'm beat. Oh, honey, come on, sit down, relax. Can I get you a sardine sandwich? Maybe later. I knew it'd be rough looking for a job, but not this rough. You didn't... So do I. Well, then don't. Stay on a few more days. Oh, I've got a meeting with a client first thing Monday morning. Then I'll go back to Charleston with you. <laughs> Say again. <laughs> Look, I know how I feel about you, and, and I flatter myself to think that you feel the same way about me. Now, I... And after lots of hard work and long hours, ten years later, I own the company. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> And now, I own a lot of companies with branches all over the world. And the amazing thing is, the work is just as exciting to me now as it was the day I started. Now, how about some champagne? No, Dorothy. But I was hoping you'd have a hard time taking advantage of somebody who cares about you as much as I do. I need help, Rose. Oh, God, I hate the lying. Dorothy, I lied to you, too. You could never have used that bank card. I'm fine. I wouldn't be fine. I don't know what I would have done if Charlie had suddenly paid a visit. He's dead. You would have fainted. <laughs> are, you, are you really all right? I'm feeling a little better. And tomorrow you're going to feel a lot better. And the next day may be better still. And the next day... Blanche, last weekend you ate so many pudding pops, you could have built the Eiffel Tower from the sticks. <laughs> That is not what I meant. I meant everything just hangs on me. Of course it does. That's why you have to cover it with a dress. <laughs> and if you end up in a puddle tonight, well, you just better break into singing in the rain. <laughs> Remember, ESP, energy, smile, personality, they like me. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the sight of God and these witnesses to join this man and this woman in matrimony, to marry them, husband and wife. Russ! Look, Ma, I am a grown woman and I have needs. <laughs> needs? You need food, you need air, you need a better wrinkle cream. <laughs> You don't need sport nookie. <laughs> this is wrong for you, Dorothy. Wrong for me? You know, Ma, this purse. I didn't really want any gum. I wonder now. I don't decide anything anymore. I wait for things to happen. What is your plan? His dog died. That's your plan? <laughs> no, I'm going to replace his dog. Rose, you don't even like bringing me my slippers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to get him a new pet to rip up. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dorothy? Surprise parties make Blanche want to throw up. <laughs> Honey, why don't you go and take that bath and we'll just forget the fact that, you know, that today is really your birthday. Well, I don't see how anybody can hate birthdays. <laughs> I don't see Miles here anywhere. Maybe he didn't come tonight. He almost didn't. <laughs> Hi, Dorothy. Hello, Miles. You left my party as soon as you arrived. You invite me to dinner, you disappear into the house, you send Blanche to the concert. I was beginning to take it personally. <laughs> Shall we? Go on. Clayton, 
Blanche, mm -hmm. how'd you find me here? Well, I knew that you and Rose were here last night. May I join you? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> well, we could sneak into Rose's room, put on some of her hasty dresses, then do imitations no, no, of her... No, 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 not the three of us. I mean Janet and Sarah and I. Oh, the three of you. I don't care. <laughs> You're no help at all, Sophia. Dorothy, do you have any ideas? Well, you know, my idea of a good time. Oh, God. Cheesecake, Rose? Let's taste it and find out. <laughs> How's the skating going? You can't stay. Why, you're embarrassed by your own mother? When she's dressed like Vasco da Gama, yes. <laughs> Excuse me, am I in the right place? Oh, how are you ever? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Patrick Vaughan. Uh, this part needs a little work. And then, now, here's the chorus. It ain't gonna worry me for long. It ain't gonna worry me for long. I'll get up in the morning and I'll still be singing my song. No, you has a nice ring to it. Go get him, pussycat. Just remember, you and I come as a package. Ma. <laughs> Sweetheart, I am so excited. Oh? It's just that I... Miami, Miami, you've got style. Blue sky, sunshine, white sand by the mile. When you live in this town, each day is sublime. The coldest of winters are warm and divine. This is an island, and I know you feel like well, a family. Well, I am family. I'm her long-lost Swedish mother. You're her Swedish mother. Yeah, yeah. You bet you're sure. Oh, come on, let me in. I'm afraid not. Yeah. Let me try, Sophie. Nurse. <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy. Let's see them stop. <laughs> I'm 
मंदिर टोकावा अग मंदिर टोकावत था हवा गार गार हवा गार गार तुझ मंदिर टोकाव मंदिर टोकावत था हवा गार गार हवा गार गार तुझ मंदिर टोक